My name is Brittany and this is going to be my first video that I'm filming. I don't know if it'll be the first one I post, but welcome to my channel. Um, I'm probably going to be really awkward and uncomfortable in front of the camera for a little bit, <laughs> but um, I'm going to do um, Trina's tag that she made like, let's see, six years ago, um, her new to booktube tag. I just like her questions. I think that they're the kind of questions that I'm interested in knowing the answers to when I watch people's videos. So yeah, I guess without further ado, I'm just going to get into the tag. Okay, the first question is, where are you joining us from? So I'm from Birmingham, Alabama in the USA. I live in the south. I live in actually a little suburb of the Birmingham metro area, but I just say Birmingham. The second question is, how old are you? Um, I kind of want to be like, what do you think? Because people never get this right, but I am 31. Yes, I'm 31. Um, I will be 32 in September, so I think I'm like in the upper age of people who are making videos on BookTube right now. Um, I know obviously there are people who are older than me some who are much older than me, but uh, the majority, I think I'm above average. So yeah, I'm, I'm old I'm in my 30s. <laughs> okay, question number three is why did you join BookTube? Um, so funnily enough, I actually joined, I want to say back in like 2013 or 14, um, I made another channel that I only uploaded like two videos to and I just never used because I didn't have a camera and I didn't have editing software and I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing but I do have a camera and editing software now. So there's that. But um, I just really needed a creative outlet. Um, I'm a mom. I have two kids. I'm married. And my husband, he has a lot of creative outlets. He plays video games. He programs. That's what he does on, for fun on his computer. He, um, he plays video games. He streams. He watches other people stream. Um, and I read. And that's kind of my thing. And um, I am lucky enough to have a real life book club that I've been actually started um, 10 years ago, almost 11 years ago, um, with my best friend Jackie. And um, over the years, we've just had like different members come and go. But right now, we have a pretty solid group. I think there's like seven of us maybe eight, I'm not sure, we just added another member, my friend Stephanie, but, um, and we pick a book every month, each member gets a turn, and then we will meet, and so we talk a little bit about the book, but we also talk about our lives, and we eat a lot of food, and, uh, so other than that, I don't really have anybody to talk about books with, um, I just got a text message, so other than that, I don't really have a lot of people to talk about books with, um, and I post a lot about them on my Instagram, but a lot of people don't care about books. Sorry, my best friend Jackie is texting me that I just referenced. <laughs> um, but yeah, my other creative outlet is BTS. I um, helped start with Jackie the um, Birmingham chapter of the Army fan club, and we try to host like uh, birthday events and listening parties and stuff like that, and we actually just had... Um, our first successful uh, birthday event last month for uh, Young and Jen. We had a, a birthday event, but yeah. Um, I found that a lot of people intersect um, here. People who like books a lot of times also like um, other stuff that I like. So, you know, music that I like, um, K-pop, uh, journaling. I, I like to journal. I have had a bullet journal for a few years. Um, I haven't done a reading journal yet, but this year I plan on. And um, I just get a lot of inspiration from other people, and I'd really like to have a way to put my own stuff out there and meet people and, um, I don't know, just grow the community. Number four is what is the meaning behind your channel name? <laughs> it says <laughs> other than your name, but mine is my name. Um, it's Brittany Barrow Books because uh, that's my name and it's about books and uh, I'm really creative and that's all I could think of. Um, it's got a lot of alliteration. Okay, the next question, number five, is um, what kind of books do you read um, or what do you want to talk about on here? Um, so I really read everything. I used to just kind of stick to fantasy. Um, 
and now I actually really love nonfiction. Um, the last book that I read, I think for the whole year of 2019, was um, probably one of my favorite books, maybe even my favorite book of the year, and that was, um, hold on. And that was called Maybe You Should Talk to Someone um, by Lori Gottlieb. And that's nonfiction um, about a therapist who uh, also sees a therapist. And I just really love that. And I read a lot of nonfiction last year. I am um, also still do really love fantasy. My favorite series is probably still the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. Um, I just really love those books. I think his magic system is just the best. Um, of course, I love Harry Potter. I love Lee Bardugo's books. I like Lee Bardugo as a person. I'm looking at my bookshelf right now. Lord of the Rings, of course. Um, I'm trying to think. I really have been into uh, adult literary fiction too. Um, Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. I love that. Rules of Civility. I, I read that last year. I love that. Um, so I just kind of want to talk about everything. Um, anything that is interesting to me I want to talk about. Um, number six is who are some of your favorite authors? I think I just accidentally <laughs> answered that in the previous question. But yeah, Brandon Sanderson. I love Brandon Sanderson. I still have to finish um, the rest of the books he has out in his Cosmere universe. So that's one of my goals for this year. Um, I love Lee Bardugo. I really enjoyed Ninth House. I know that was really polarizing, but um, I really loved it. Who else do I really like? Um... Uh, I just recently re binge read the entire Folk of the Air series by Holly Black and um, that was actually my first Holly Black but those books are really good. I'm not usually into a lot of today's YA fantasy anymore. I used to be really into it but I was kind of hesitant to read those books but I'm really glad I did because uh, it was it was really good. Um, gosh, uh, we'll talk about those but <laughs> I really like those. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm... I really like Robin Hobb, what I've read of her, have really enjoyed. Um, I really want to read Robert Jordan. Uh, that's another goal for this year. I, I just have, I just want to read it all, you know? Okay, question number seven is, what is the last book that you read? And I just talked about that a second ago. The last book that I read um, and completed was The Queen of Nothing. It was my first read, I think, of 2020. And um, I really liked it. I know it's also a really polarizing book because it was so much shorter than what we were expecting and um that was a little disappointing so but uh I still gave it four stars it was great I'm glad that I started my year off with a book that I really liked okay the next question is what book are you currently reading and the book that I'm currently reading I'm actually reading on my kindle app on my ipad and that is last night I sang to the monster by Benjamin Alire Sands um, I previously read um, Aristotle and Dante, Discovered the Secrets of the Universe by him a few years ago for book club, and I really liked that book. Um, I can't wait for my kids to read that book. Um, I am about 40% of the way through this book, and <laughs> it's kind of a slog. It's kind of a chore. Actually, every single time <laughs> I pick the book up to read, I fall asleep, no matter where I am. Like, literally sitting on my living room couch, I pass out. So, that's the book I'm currently reading. <laughs> Okay, question number nine is, what do you use for bookmarks? Um, I use bookmarks, usually. Sometimes if I check it out from the library, I do use my little um, return slip that you get telling you the due date, because um, I just stick that in there as soon as I check it out, and usually I'm too lazy to go and grab one of my bookmarks, but um, I use the book of the month, just the little free ones that they send with every single book. Um, I use those until my kid like bends them or they just get too gross. And then I also have some from the book depository that they send also with like every order. And I have a few um, that people gave me. My husband gave me some over the years that are really cute. I have a few Ravenclaw ones. Um, but yeah, I'm not really like a, a bookmark snob. I, if it, if I need it bad enough, I'll stick it in my book. The next question is to show us your current TBR pile. So, um, this is what I currently have with me that I uh, really need to read because I already bought them. I'm really, really trying to read stuff that I own or check it out from the library, but really prioritizing reading my own shelves. Um, so this is what I have so far just to read 
um, for the rest of January and probably into February because I actually can't read like 30 books a month. <laughs> um, I have two kids and I work part time and I'm doing the best I can. I wish I could though. If, if I could, that's what I would probably spend my time doing if not sleeping. Um, the first book that I want to read is The Dutch House uh, by Ann Patchett. Um, I love Ann Patchett. I love her bookstore, um, Parnassus in Nashville. Um, so I've heard amazing things about this. I really, really want to get to it, like, maybe next. So yeah. Another book that I want to read that most people have said is amazing or their favorite book of the year last year or um, they just recommended it uh, is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I picked this up from Barnes & Noble when they were doing that big sale. It was like 40% off or something crazy like that. Um, so I was happy to find this um, and I've had it for a few months now and I'd really really like to get to it um, either this month or next month. Next book I have is The Library Book by Susan Orlean, a uh, nonfiction book that I also bought at Barnes & Noble during that sale. It's just so pretty. It doesn't have a dust jacket. Um, look at the edges. They're so pretty. I know a lot of people don't love beveled edges, but I think they look really good. Um, so excited to get to this one. And I think the last book that I can feasibly get to between the end of January and the beginning of February is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Um, we read The Night Circus probably back when it came out um, for the book club and really, really enjoyed it. Um, and I've just been waiting for her to put something else out. So I asked for this for Christmas and my mother-in-law got it for me. Um, and it's so big and heavy. I, I didn't realize how big it was, but uh, I love her writing. It's very, very pretty and lyrical. And I'm looking forward to just enjoying the ride in this book. Question number 11 is which do you prefer, um, paperback or hardback? Um, so I don't really care anymore. I find as I'm getting older, things that I used to be really particular about or like picky, I was just like, oh, I don't have the energy to care about that anymore. Um, I think that hardbacks do look really nice on your shelf. Um, they last a long time. Um, but I really prefer paperbacks when reading. Um, I really do a lot of reading in my bed, so I have to like hold them up and they hurt my wrist if they're too heavy. I like to bend paperbacks like back um, and hold them with one hand. So I guess paperbacks, but really I don't care. Another part is um, ebooks or physical books. Um, I just don't care. I, if I read a book on an ebook, um, I'm usually it's usually because I'm anticipating that I'm not gonna reread it. Um, or I'm not gonna like it, or, you know, it's all the library had, but if, if I do end up loving it, I usually will buy a physical copy, um, because I do love to reread, and I do love to, um, push books on other people, <laughs> like, anyone that comes over, I'm like, oh, I have the perfect book for you, like, book matchmaking, and I try to make people leave with that book, but also I'm like, hey, a month later, have you finished that book? Like, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm like a library, like, I know I loaned it to you on this day, so... I do expect you to give it back, but I just want other people to read the books so they can get excited about them like I do. Um, and then the last part of the question is, um, do you prefer owning or borrowing books? And I used to say owning, like I would buy every book that someone ever mentioned to me in passing, like, and it would just sit there and sit there and not get read for years because, you know, you're reading Chase taste changes. So now I'm more selective about what books I buy and I also try to wait until they're on sale or I have a gift card or I'm not going to be spending like a ton of money on it. But lately, um, actually, I mean, I've always loved the library. I grew up using the library, but lately I've been just really thankful that the library is so close and that we have a good library system and um, I've been really utilizing that, especially uh, audiobooks. Um, oh, also, I, I use Scribd, too, for audiobooks, and I'm fine with not owning those books. Um, if, if I love them, I'll, like I guess I'll buy a physical copy, but um, I think it's kind of 50-50 for me. Like, I have five or six bookshelves in my house that are full, and I like them that way, and um, I like to cultivate and kind of, like, pick through the ones that I don't want anymore and, and sell them or give them away, and just, I like to keep the things around me that make me happy and um, books are one thing that make me really happy so owning is great but borrowing is great too and you shouldn't feel like you can't read as much because you can't afford to buy books so I'm really big on the library as well.
Okay, number 12 is what book series got you into reading? Um, that's really hard. I've been reading since I was little. Um, gosh, I would say I was reading before I got into Harry Potter and I think I started reading Harry Potter in 6th or 7th grade. My friend Haley let me borrow the first book and, and I was hooked. Um, but before that I would say the, um, the Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Snogging books. I really liked those. And then the, the Double Trouble, Triple Trouble books. Um, I really liked those. I always checked those out over and over again from my library. When I was even younger than that. I loved Laura Ingalls Wilder's books. Uh, apparently my camera uh, only records <laughs> in 10 minute intervals, so I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, but yeah, I was saying um, the Laura Ingalls Wilder's book, uh, Laura Ingalls Wilder books, um, like Little House in the Prairie, on the Prairie, Little House in the Big Woods. I really love those. My mom always bought me um, any kind of like special editions that came out of those. So um, I've just like been reading for as long as I can remember. Number 13, the question is, how did you discover booktube? Um, I had to think really hard about that because I have been watching it, like I said, for so long. Um, I remember I used to watch uh, Priscilla, I think it was at The Readables was her name. Um, I really loved her videos. Um, I watched Reagan at Peru's Project back before she started, I think it was like the summer before she started her first semester of college. So I've really enjoyed just like people's lives kind of happening before us. Um, but I think I did, went back and I determined that I was actually watching a beauty channel. So it could have either been Estee um, over, she was, I think she was Essie Button still then, or it could have been Ingrid. She was Miss Clamorazzi then, but someone mentioned Kaylee Hyde's channel, so I ended up going over there and finding all of her book channels, and it, I loved it, and it was just like a black hole that I went down and just never got out of. <laughs> Question number 14, um, what challenges do you think that you'll face with your own channel? Um, for me, I am a bit of a perfectionist. I'm an Enneagram type 1, so perfectionism within myself and um, my inner critic are, are something that I struggle with, so um, I'm afraid that, you know, I might let that, I don't know how to edit very well, I don't know how to make graphics very well, thumbnails very well right now, um, prevent me from even starting, so um, this was kind of like, will this video see the light of day? It will, but going forward, you know, will I be discouraged? Um, I, I'm, I'm just really hoping that I can really battle that perfectionism within myself this year um, on every level, not just making videos, but especially um, with this channel. Also, um, just finding the time may be a challenge. Um, one of my kids is older and so she's in school, but the um, youngest that I have, she's only 20 months old and she is everywhere, all over the place. So um, sometimes I, I can find some time where I can be alone long enough just to sit and record without a bunch of background noise. That's really the issue. So those are probably my two biggest challenges. All right, and last question is where can we find you? Link up. So um, I have Goodreads that I've had since like 2008 um, that I use, I update it all the time. Uh, I have both a personal Instagram for that I've had for years um, and then I have a new one for this channel. Uh, I can link both of those down below. Um, I don't know that I'll have a post up yet um, while I'm filming this. I know I don't but I may have one on there by the time I post this video. Also I have uh, Twitter. I have my Twitter. Um, just you know my private Twitter that I use to tweet every thought that comes across my mind. Um, that's why it's private. <laughs> and then I have my BTS stand Twitter. Um, and then I now have one for books for my booktube channel and I just made that and I'll link all three of those down below as well. Um, but yeah, um, that's it for this tag. Uh, thank you again to Trina for even making this. I love these questions. Um, and hopefully you guys will stick around and go on this journey with me. Um, I would really appreciate that. I really want to have conversations, um, do buddy reads, um, maybe do some readathons. Who knows? We shall see. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope that I see you again next time.